So I am getting ready to go to the Equity Brewing Company first tap room event. This is their first public event. Last night was uh, the private showcase. And um, at the same time this week, the news was announced that starting January 1st, 2021, I will be on the board of the International Pink Boots Society. Now, a lot of us have been saying national, but really and truly, Pink Boots is an international organization with international reach, international members, international chapters. It is a global support system for women in the fermentation industries, no longer just beer, but all fermentation industries. It is so, 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 so big, so big that I, 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 I can't even like grasp the meaning of it, that I get to help women who have never been in the room before advocating for themselves and their community before I, I get to be someone who does that. And one of the things, the first things that my mother told me was, okay, now you gotta dress better. <laughs> and um, while that is an old school way of thinking, um, having to alter your look uh, for walking in certain rooms I do respect where she's coming from because my mom has been trained in how to be a corporate professional since she was 14 years old starting back in the 60s so you know she's she's been uber focused on what is the right thing to do to be able to get into the room and stay in the room and for an older generation, it was looking a certain way and dressing a certain way. And while this generation and the coming generation have rejected those things um, and said, no, we, we should be able to show up as ourselves. Uh, I am getting dressed for my mom today because I want to pay respects to her, her struggle, her come up, and the work that she had to do to be able to be in the room and how ultimately putting in that work didn't allow her to stay in the room. So I don't do it because I believe that we should support the patriarchy or support a status quo. I'm doing it to pay tribute to my mom and the effort that she had to go through and watching her go through that uh, as I was growing up. So this is for you, mama. She used to say to me a lot, you won't understand until you grow up and have to go through it yourself. She used to say it to me all the time. And I was like, Mom, why would you why would you wish me going through something bad? I don't think she was wishing bad on me. I think she was saying that what she was trying to teach me about was not something she knew how to put into words. And not something, not a burden that she wanted to leave on her child. And I'm grateful for her doing that because what she did for me was create space for me not to be jaded out the gate. You know, like a lot of the things that my mom said to me and didn't say to me left room for me to explore, not be jaded, not be fearful and not hold back. Now, have I hit certain roadblocks? Yeah, I have. But I'm in too deep. I'm just in way too deep. To stop. To turn back. You know, like... If I was thinking about getting out of the beer industry, or the fermentation industry, or beverage industry, I can't now. I'm definitely in it for the next two years definitely in it for the next two years because i've made a commitment 
I made a commitment to pink boots. I made a pink boots. Uh, I made a commitment to my sisters, to my colleagues, and to women who look like me. South American and North American women who look like me. I'm in that room, or going to be in that room, to show up for indigenous American women who are melanated, who are assumed to be the cleaning lady, who are assumed to be in the wrong place when they walk through the door, who are assumed to be angry, who are assumed to be aggressive. Uh, I get to show a different side. I get to show something different. I get to show the truth. I get to represent the norm and not the stereotype status quo, right? So let's start now at the very beginning when women had to put on a face and put on a dress and act a certain way in order to be accepted or welcomed in the room. And then let's carry on this journey to the point where we don't need to do that. I'm really, really, really excited to go down that rabbit hole. Will you join me? Will you join me on this journey? Will you go down this rabbit hole with me? <laughs> Will you share your stories with me? Okay. Gotta get the nail bones, you know. You gotta, gotta use the cocoa butter. Get them elbows. I don't have coconut oil on me. Sometimes it's hard to travel with it. So I just grabbed the Vaseline cocoa butter. Make sure I've got nice shiny elbows instead of ashy elbows. No, I don't put on foundation. I don't put on blush. I don't contour. I don't do any of that stuff. That's not me. I'm not a fan of makeup. So, just put on a little bit of highlighting. Just a little bit. So be like it's there. I don't really need foundation for my... My skin is pretty pretty. I am getting a lot of freckles though. Thanks, great grandfather. I'm assuming those freckles come from you. From my, my Irish granddaddy. Imagine that every time I put on a dress, it's no different from a boy putting on a dress. It's like, I kind of feel like I'm getting into drag. It's kind of the feeling I get from putting on a dress. It's like a costume. Okay, I feel so awkward. Don't worry about the straps, you won't take care of that. Oops, I almost forgot something. Yes, I am a woman. Yes, I am waist training. This is something that I have been doing since I had my baby to help uh, close everything back up. So it is being done for health reasons. Uh, a little bit of cosmetic reasons, but mostly health reasons to help close up the muscles uh, that expand and open up uh, when you're pregnant. 
So, you know, this is American Woman and Beer. I am a woman. It's something I gotta go through. I'm gonna bring things back together. Care for my health, my blood. If you wanna learn more about that, check out my waist training series. That's coming for postpartum recovery. Go to the postpartum recovery playlist. And you will learn more about that. Now you would think that after going through all of this, that I'm about to put on some pumps or some stilettos. <laughs> You're wrong. Nope. I am gonna put on my brand new pink boots boots. The cowboy boots. That's my little way of shaking it up. Flipping shit upside down. <laughs> Shout out to my new fairy godmother. Mrs. Meyer. For calling it into existence. Okay. Alrighty, tidy. Oops, time to switch this out. Huh? How do I look? Looking good? All put together. Forgot my belt that goes with it, but here we are. Let's go and support our fellow women in beer. Right. Peace out, Cub Scouts.